Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over six signs God wants you to start fasting. All right, so when we talk about the subject of fasting, fasting has been practiced for thousands of years. Many individuals have done the art of fasting or have done the practice of fasting. When you look at Yeshua, when he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, the Buddha, when he fasted for 40 days or, or a certain amount of time around that area, uh, Lord Krishna from Hinduism, he had practiced, you know, fasting for a certain amount of time. Our ancient ancestors, the ancient Egyptians, had practiced the art of fasting. So fasting has been practiced for thousands and thousands of years in the past. And it, and it was, you know, during that time, it was a, you know, a regularly... A, a practice that was regularly, you know, practiced, but now since in, you know, in these modern times, fasting has been neglected, has been, you know, thrown away. And I don't believe, you know, not not that many people are, you know, are, you know, willing to fast and practice the art of fasting. Besides the people who have no choice to fast, it's it's kind of hard to, you know, see a lot of people who are just willing to fast. When food is just so you know readily readily available, if the person has the money to purchase food, or you know, uh, you know, food is just so readily available now, so it's kind of hard for us to you know fast because food is just, is always being shoved down our throats, all right. And when it comes to fasting, it's not just from the abstaining of food. It could be you know a, a dopamine fast, you know, a, abstaining from technology and TV and social and social media platforms, which I'm about to go over in the video a little bit later on. It could be from, you know, fasting from people. It could be fasting from, you know, many different things. It, it doesn't have to be solely on food, right? So in this video, I'm going to be going over six signs God wants you to start fasting, all right? So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and get started. So the first sign that God wants you to fast is if you have feelings of lust, anger, depression, etc. Now, these low, low level, low energy, low vibrational feelings and emotions, if you're experiencing any 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 of these type of emotions, then you know it's time for a fast. All right. So if you have feelings of lust, Let's say if you have a masturbation addiction, porn addiction, any type of lustful feelings and lustful thoughts and, you know, lustful desires and things of that nature, then it's time for you to go on a fast. If you have feelings of anger, if you're always angry, if you have, you know, anger problems, you're always mad, you know, at yourself, you talk down on yourself, you have negative feelings and emotions about yourself as well as other people, then you know it's time for a fast. If you have feelings of depression, if you're always, you know, in a depressive state, you, you know, have a negative self-image about yourself, negative self-image about the world, you always, you're just in a constant loop of, you know, fear and anxiety and things of that nature, always depressed, always, you know, in a low state, in a low vibration. And fasting is a great way to help you overcome these obstacles and overcome these emotions. All right, so when you are trying to fill your cup up with more positive, you know, uh, positive vibes, you know, positive energy and things of that nature, you're not able to do that if your cup is already full of negative emotions. So that's why fasting is a way for you to get rid of all that toxicity, all those negative emotions, all those negative feelings that are within you so you can refill your cup up with the things that you want in your life. All right. So the first sign that God wants you to fast, if you have these negative feelings, these low vibrational feelings of lust, anger, depression, stress, anxiety, etc., etc. So the second sign that God wants you to fast is food addiction or gluttony. So if you have any type of food addiction, if you like to cope, you know, eating a whole bunch of excess food, especially processed foods, junk food. If you try to, you know, utilize that as an escape, as escapism, if you try to cope with your depression just with eating, then you know it's time to go on a fast. God wants you to be 
on your fasting journey, right? So when you are fasting, it reprograms your mind and it reprograms your subconscious to think about food and to treat food in a totally different manner. So I felt guilty in this. I felt guilty on this. I've slipped up every now and then when it comes to, you know, uh, gluttony and, you know, eating excess food, you know, in, a, in an unhealthy way. So fasting is a great way to reprogram your mind to look at food differently. You know, when you start to look at food differently in a healthy manner, you don't fall into the temptation of wanting to eat so much food in a certain amount of time. Because now, you know, especially here in America, food is just being shoved down our throats when it comes to, you know, the commercials, the advertisements, the billboards on the highway. All these different restaurants are always promoting these different types of foods and things like that. So food is just basically being, <clears throat> excuse me, food is basically being shoved down our throats as we speak. And food is always being portrayed to us every day, every step of the way. There's so many temptations out here in this world, it's ridiculous. But when you practice the art of fasting, fasting is a great way for you to, you know, release those temptations and to look at food in a totally different manner so you won't fall into the temptation of gluttony and just eating just to be eating, right? We're supposed to be eating to provide nourishment and to provide nutrients to our body, not to just, you know, eat for fun. It's okay to, ha to, to have your favorite treats every once in a while, to, eat, to have fun eating every once in a while. But the main goal and the main job for us is to eat to live. We're supposed to be eating to live, not eating to die. All right? So the second sign that God wants you to fast, if you have any, t if, is it, if you have any type of food addiction or, you know, uh, you know, practicing, you know, gluttony and things like that. So another sign that God wants you to fast is if you have any type of food addiction, you know, gluttony, if you're just using food as a coping mechanism for your depression, things like that, then you already know it's time for you to fast. So the third sign that God wants you to fast is if you have any type of social media addiction, which is a dopamine fast. So like I said in the beginning of the video, when you're fasting, you're not just abstaining from food. It can be from social media. It could be from friends. It could be from family. It could be from people. You know, fasting is doing away with things that don't benefit you. All right. So when you practice the art of fasting, when it comes to social media and technology and TV, you are practicing and going on a dopamine fast. So it's always good for you to stay away or to stray away from social media every once in a while because social media addiction is a really big thing. You know, television, uh, you know, porn, 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 pornography, sex, all these different things that, that stimulate the mind and stimulate the brain in a negative way. So it's always important for you to, to abstain from social media, to abstain from technology every once in a while because it's not, it's not good to be on that type of stuff all the time every day every single day so you know if it's an addiction if you if it's hard for you to get off if you have to get on instagram if you have to get on netflix if you have to get on TikTok every 15 to 20 minutes and not just with these apps on your phone in general if you can't put your phone down for a certain amount of time for a couple of hours without having to pick it up then you know you have an addiction all right so another sign that God wants you to fast is, is if you have any type of social media technology or a dopamine rush or a dopamine addiction. So the next sign that God wants you to fast is if you are lacking in energy, not feeling great physically, mentally, and spiritually. So if you're not feeling your best every single day, not all of us, not all of us are going to be feeling our best every single day. But if it's happening more often, is it if it's happening every day, all day, every single day, lacking energy, you have you have you have no mental clarity, you know, not feeling right physically, not feeling right spiritually, then you know it's time that God wants you to fast. All right. So fasting can help you physically. All right. It can, you know, release autophagy. It can, you know, lower blood sugar levels. It can, uh, you know, decrease inflammation. It can do many wonders for your physical body, all right? 
but not just physically, it can help mentally because fasting for a certain amount of time can improve mental clarity. It can improve concentration. It can increase brain power and blood flow, right? And not just mentally and physically, but spiritually as well. So when you're fasting for a certain amount of time, it increases you, it increases your spiritual energy, right? You have more uh, room for you to increase your spiritual energy to improve your spiritual power, right? Your spirit, your spirit gets stronger and your flesh gets weaker, right? So you have that more, you have that spiritual stamina, you have that spiritual resistance to resist any temptation that comes your way, all right? So fasting can help you physically, mentally, and spiritually, all right? So another sign that God wants you to fast, if, if you are experiencing any type of lack of energy, no motivation whatsoever, uh, brain fog, mental fog, and things of that nature. So the next sign that God wants you to fast is if you are mourning for a connection with God slash your higher self. Now, how can fasting help one achieve spiritual revolution or a spirit or spiritual attainment or to have a close relationship with the most high or with your higher self? So like I said earlier in the lacking in energy point, when you are fasting, you are putting more time, you are putting more energy into your inner self. You are putting more currency, more spiritual or energy currency into your, into your spirit because your spirit gets stronger and your flesh gets weaker, like I mentioned earlier. So when you are doing that, you are attaining the level of hierarchy when it comes to the spirit realm, right? So when you are fasting, you are having more of a connection to God. You are, you know, having that attainment. You are on that ele ele on that elevation to want to speak to God, to have a relation with have a relation with God. You know, be in peace with yourself, having that spiritual attainment. All right. So when you are fasting, you are going to have an experience, a spiritual experience. You're going you're you're going to become more spiritually stronger than ever before, and things like that. All right. So another sign that God wants you to fast is if you are mourning, if you want to have a closer, closer relationship with God, having a close relationship with yourself, having more love for yourself, have more love for things all around you and things like that. And last but not least, the sixth sign that God wants you to fast is if you have feelings of isolation and solitude, fasting from people. Now, like I said in the beginning, many times in this video, not only are you abstaining from food, sex, television, technology, you can also fast from people. Or if you are, you know, let's say you are in a toxic family, you have a toxic family, toxic uh, friends, you know, uh, people, people all around you that don't benefit, which benefit you whatsoever. When you are in solitude, when you are in isolation, you are becoming more in tune with God and you're not, you're not able to become influenced by other people around you. Because when you are around people who don't benefit, benefit you whatsoever, you start to become more like them. Uh, you know, they might be able to influence you if you, are, if you are easily influenced. So it's always good to step away from the people that aren't meant to be in your life. Because there are many people out here who don't care, you know, about your well-being. You know, they're just there to be there to influence you in a negative way. And you might not even realize it, or they might not even realize it. But it's a spiritual warfare out there. So it's always important for you to be by yourself, to be in solitude, and to not be influenced by other people, other toxic people, friends, family, whoever it may be. It's always important to not be influenced by those, by those type of people and to be more in solitude with God so God can give you the love, the knowledge, and to, you know, just better overall understand yourself, to work on yourself every single day. And that's the most important thing. That's the most important key when it comes to being by yourself in isolation and solitude, all right? So another sign that God wants you to fast is when you are having deep thoughts, deep feelings of wanting to be by yourself, to be in solitude, and to be in your isolation period. 
All right. So let's recap today's video, guys. These are six signs God wants you to start fasting. So the first sign is if you have feelings of lust, anger, depression, etc. Second sign is if you have any type of food addiction, if you use food addiction as a coping mechanism. So third sign is social media addiction, dopamine fast, go on a dopamine fast, guys. If you have any type of, you know, problems, you know, being on social media, because social media addiction can lead to depression as well. So go on that dopamine fast. Fourth sign, lacking energy, not feeling great physically, mentally, and spiritually. And fasting does wonders for your physical body, for your mental, and your spiritual. Fifth sign, mourning for a connection with God slash your higher self. And the sixth sign, last but not least, feelings of isolation and solitude, fasting from people. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, this video helps you out. You know, this video has inspired me because... You know, I went through I went through a couple of these things. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not, you know, this fantastic person who is just perfect, who just goes around in the world with no problems at all. I've experienced all these things in my life as well. So this video has inspired me to not only help myself, but to help you all as well, who's going through all these challenges, who's going through all these things that, you know, these temptations of the world. So hopefully this video just, you know, sparks something in your sparks something in your life, helps you out in any way, shape, or form. All right. So till next time. And always remember, all power resides from within. And always keep the faith because God and the universe is always working for you. Take care, guys. And God bless.